Hey everyone, Joe from Ablen here, and I hope you are having an awesome day just like I am. Uh, we've been having some amazing conversations over the past few days about the upcoming mouse support for iPad and iPhone. Uh, just to catch everyone up to speed, this fall when iOS 13 are released and iPad OS is released, um, you will receive access to mouse support on your iPad and iPhone. I uh, want to make a short video to address two of the common questions that keep on coming up. One around battery life of the device when using a mouse, and then the second around which USB adapter uh, you'll need if you plan to use a USB mouse. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera around uh, so we can get a better view of some of the adapters and some things that I'm talking about, and we'll just go ahead and get started. So one of the questions we've been getting is regarding the battery life of the iPad and iPhone when used with a Bluetooth or USB mouse. Uh, the quick and short answer is that yes, battery life will be affected by Bluetooth or USB mice. Um, when you're using Bluetooth, you need battery power to supply that wireless signal between the iPad or iPhone and the Bluetooth mouse. When you're using an adapter like this one here with a USB port, um, you're actually supplying power across that USB port to make the mouse function. Now the question goes back to how much will it be affected and that solely relies on the device being used, um, whether it's using Bluetooth Classic or Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, and then from a USB standpoint, what the power requirements are to make either that optical or, or specialized mouse work. The good news for anybody experiencing battery life uh, issues on their iPhone or iPad is that you can connect a battery pack like this one here to your device and still use a Bluetooth or USB mouse at the same time. Um, this one is actually quite large from Anchor that we got on Amazon, but they come in all different shapes and sizes. And the important thing to note is that you get the right battery pack in terms of the right connectors. This one has USB um, and power output to make sure it supplies enough power to your iPhone or iPad. I'll show you how to get this one set up. We are just going to turn it on and then we're going to take our standard lightning cable here and put the USB port into the battery pack. And I'm going to set this battery pack off to the side because we don't need it now. Um, this particular USB to lightning connector has the power pass through, which is important and needed um, because we're going to use a USB mouse. So I'm just going to put the lightning connector, which is attached to our battery supply into the adapter. And then I'm going to take our USB mouse and plug it into the adapter and plug everything into this iPhone 7 Plus. This would work on the iPhone, or I'm sorry, iPad 6 that we have here as well. You'll see that the battery power turned on, so we're supplying power to the device. This is enough power with this particular battery pack to get us through today and probably even tomorrow, maybe the day after that. I'm gonna turn the assistive touch pointer on and what you'll see here is the mouse cursor works just as expected. The second question we've been getting is around which USB adapter should I get if I wanna use a USB mouse? And there's a couple things to consider here. The first is the device you're using. If you have the newer iPad Pros with USB-C, you'll wanna get a USB-C adapter. If you have any of the other iPhones or iPads that have lightning connectors, you'll wanna get a lightning connector adapter. Uh, the second decision point here really revolves around the power pass-through versus no power pass-through. Um, this particular USB-C adapter has USB HDMI, which is not relevant to this, and then a USB-C power pass-through. Um, this one here for the lightning connector just has a USB port and the lightning connector power pass-through. In my opinion, I would probably spend a couple extra dollars for the one with the power pass-through just to make sure it gives me some flexibility down the road should I need a battery pack.